Today we want to see how we can use camel query on date and time fields. So let's go straight to the point. In this video we will review date fields in camel query. We will query the date only fields. Then we query the date fields that they include the time. Finally we go and take a quick look at C sharp date format string to build the camel query. Working with date field is very simple. All you need to do is just adding this type as of date time for the value that you want to compare with the date type field. So to query the date fields, there are different options. Sometimes we are comparing it with the current date. Please keep in mind that this query only compares the date value regardless of the time. So basically it completely disregards the time value if this field has time value. Sometimes we are not exactly looking for today, sometimes we have an offset. So basically we are looking for six days ago or plus four, it's going to be four days from now. And the third option is we are looking to compare for a very exact date. So in this case we use the same type date time for the value, but the format is going to be year, month, day, capital T and the time. What if you have time? The only difference between the query that includes the time is this phrase. Include time value equals true and of course you need to provide the proper format for the time. So this time after my date when I include time my query actually looks for this specific time. So I can use the equal to look for the exact time or I can be more generous and use greater than, less than, greater or equal, less than, less than or equal, or all those types of comparisons. When it comes to programming, I usually have a date time field and I put a random date on it. At this example, I have two hours from now. If I want to convert this into a camel query or make it a part of camel query, this is what I do. I create a string variable and it, I just convert this variable to a string using this format string. So I'm using yyy hyphen double capital M standing for month, date, and the capital T, capital H, capital H, be careful about it, it has to be 24 hour format, and month, uh, and minute, second, and finally Z is standing for time zone. This will produce this part of your camel query. Talking is enough, let's walk the talk. For the setup, I'm using SharePoint 2013 on VM and I have a custom SharePoint list called product list. As you can see, I have the products list with a couple of items with one field called expires, which is date only. And I have another field called delivery, which is date and time. By the way, the web part that I'm using uh, accepts a camel query string. I've already covered it in another video titled using C sharp and camel to query the list items in SharePoint SP query. I put the link in the description so just check the video description and if you want to look at it. This is very generic and for this demo I have done some minor modifications in it and these modif modifications include now I'm pointing it to products list. I just added a first line so it shows title, expires and delivery. So all three fields that I'm looking into and it actually shows those values in this section. So this is the web part that I have. There's a button called execute. This is the text box that I type in my camel query inside it. And when I click on execute, it shows me query result here. Now let's start with the actual demo. First I start with writing a query that shows me all the items that expired today. To do this, I just get back to my Visual Studio. I use the XML editor because it's much easier and cleaner to do the work with. I write my statement, my where condition, and equals my field reference. My field has a name called expires and 
value type is going to be date time and the value is going to be today. I just copy it, put it here, and see what it's going to show us. So it shows me the burger bun that expires today. Of course, I can use the other field and see what product delivers today. And I click on execute, and this time it shows me Apple that the delivery date is today. So far, so good. Now we want to look into the product that expires tomorrow. So instead of today, I would say tomorrow. And the way that I say tomorrow is offset days equals one. Offset days equals one means that I'm looking into today date and I'm adding one to it. Let's run it here again and see if it's going to show us the right result. I click on execute and it shows me the ice cream which is exactly the item that expires tomorrow. Now let's look for an exact date. To look for an exact date instead of today I put the date as of 2016 for 25 T which is going to be my time 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Z. This is the format that I use. So let's see. I'm looking for anything that expires on 25th. I click on execute and I have no item expires on 26th as you can see. Let's go for 29th and see if we can get anything. And yes, we know that oranges expire on 29 and I'm getting exactly what I'm looking for. If I want to play with it a little bit more, I can say use less than or equal and again less than or equal. I just copy it and, and paste it in my SharePoint again and it shows me two items that expired before 25th. The last part of this demo is to query for the time in the field that contains date and time. To do this, I added two records here. So I have oranges and apples that they both have the delivery of 425th, but one of them is 6 p.m., the other one is 8.40 a.m. Now I would like to query for the item that will be delivered on April 25th at 6 p.m. Let's see how it works. To do that, I get back to my uh, XML editor where EQ field reference name is going to be delivery, my field name. The value has the type of date time and I say include time value equals true. And the value that I'm looking for is going to be 2016 April 25th. The time is going to be this time, 6 p.m. So it's going to be 18 0, 0, 0, 0, and Z. Let's see if we can pick it up. There we go. So we got exactly the item that has been delivered on this date, on this specific time. And this is the interesting part. If I just take out this include time and run it again, Although I have the time value here, it includes every item that has been delivered on this date. <laughs>